All right. What's going on? It's your boy, Town Biz. All right, man. So check this out. All right. So now, now I'm getting a more clear indication of why John Morant was suspended. Now, John Morant could be in more trouble. Now, remember, I broke this down about and asked the question, why was John Morant suspended? But, you know, I'm looking at content creators. You know what pissed me off about content creators is not that the fact that we're able to give our opinion when something bad happens or what may deem bad happen. But I noticed that there's a lot of people in particularly celebrating what's going on with John Miranda. And I'm not celebrating. I'm disappointed, but I'm not happy that he's in trouble. And I'm tired of people using this terminology entitled and entitled to what? John Moran is 23 years old. The dude is still a kid. You really don't find yourself as an adult to you around 24, 25. Now, did he use bad judgment? Of course. But here's what's going on. Now, according to the collective bargaining agreement with the NBA, you are not allowed to basically uh, bring firearms to any facility that's being used or being represented by the NBA. And if you own official NBA business, you are not allowed to bring uh, weapons on planes and all that stuff. Even if you have a, even if you have a permit to carry, which that needs to be discussed in the next collective bargaining agreement, because I stand on second amendment rights to the fullest. Now, with that being said, this is why he may be in trouble. Now, how Jay, Moran could get out of this. The best thing for him to do is say, man, that wasn't my gun. Because the NBA is running an investigation. Now, if it if it turns out that he brought a firearm on a plane that's being licensed or rented or has anything to do pertaining to NBA business, he could be suspended for 50 games. So that's where the problem lies. If I was John Moran, I'd say that gun was fake and leave it at that and say, I'm, and because at the end of the day, they can't prove that it wasn't. And then they have to prove that that firearm belonged to him. And they have to prove that he brought it on the plane. So it's a lot of things that they have to prove. You know. And I don't think they can dig into, first of all, they have to find out what type of weapon that was. Then they have to find out. Now, I don't think the NBA can go as far as to dig into his personal background and see, has he purchased any firearms or is there any firearms registered to him? Because now you're talking about an invasion of his privacy. So they have to prove that he that he brought a gun on a plane that's being that's pertaining to NBA business or the planes being, you know, lease rented, whatever, you know what I'm saying? By the NBA. So stay tuned. But I just want to say to you content creators that's sitting up saying, Oh, I wouldn't want to get, get out of here, man. Shit. Sh shut up. Shut up. For real. It's a difference between, you know, just basically saying, hey, this this isn't smart. But then some of these people are celebrating. And I could tell a lot of them are not black, of course, because people have this thing with black people that make a lot of money. They call them entitled. OK, John Morant earned his spot on an NBA roster because he was that good as a college basketball player. He earned the right to be there. So how did he, he, how did he, how is he privileged? How is he entitled? Entitled to what? What are we ever entitled to? So shut up. Anyway, man, get out of here with that BS. It's your boy Town Biz, I'm out.